Hi guys, or girls, maybe. So, a quick video about uh, today's uh, flea market finds. I was uh, quickly uh, in a flea market and I pick, uh, they pick up some stuff because I was uh, quite frustrated uh, over the last few weeks to have nothing new to take apart. It was quite a uh, crisis of uh, take apart stuff, so I did pick up some stuff really, really cheap. So, in this bag here at the top, we have, uh, it is mostly a pile of dead everything. Do not expect. Uh, so we have uh, all the GVC, mainly Divey camcorder. Usually I collect camcorders, but this one is uh, not in very good uh, condition. And is a uh, quite a cheap one in a uh, plastic uh, body. So this one will be taken apart for, for fun. I have a, a good bag with it. I will probably put in the washing machine and reuse. It comes with all the accessories. The char battery charger, remote. Battery charger will be, uh, I will keep it. It can always be useful. Remote will be taken apart so It is quite fun, there is a jack. Love on this remote. So, it is for this. So, the, the camcorder is a model, model GR DVL20, if you want to know. Okay, then we have here, ta -da, a completely dead power book. A power book. As you can see, it is all uh, taken apart, in fact. It is missing all the screws. Well, I did put it back together, but it was in a grad bag with all in parts. So, there is still the keyboard with uh, one key misses, exactly. The case is in quite good condition, but I do not know why it was taken apart at first. So, it seems it is mixing the hard drive. Apart from that, it is uh, quite complete. So it is uh, uh, from uh, 2001, it seems, or something like this. Power book, uh, 400 MHz, 1 MB of cache, 64 MB of RAM, and uh, missing 6 GB hard drive, with uh, 8 MB video and a DVD drive. So yes, it is quite uh, obsolete, but it's a Mac. This is quite uh, nice. Nicely made. Very professional, but so it will be taken apart and uh, well, and we finish to take it apart because it is already in parts. And I will uh, maybe put some of the good parts for sale on eBay. I will see. Cheap, but if it can uh, be useful for someone. So, there it is, and now guys, ta -da! here is the future of office work. With these things, working in the office will never be the same. Guys, we have here a Smith Corona Vintage Electric Typewriter. Yes, an electric typewriter from uh, 1981 it seems so it is only for taking apart because I have no use for it it is not in the great condition so it is not collectible and I have no space to collect uh, such uh, stuff anyway so I will take it apart because I did never take apart an electric uh, typewriter so I believe it will be quite interesting I am uh, quite sure it is mostly uh, metal works. So it is a uh, Smith Corona Vintage made in Scotland, guys. Yes, made in Scotland. And it was in one of these small uh, spheres with characters on it. So it is really a nice part. I will keep it as a collector part. But apart from that, it will be uh, all taken apart. 
it is working mostly. The carrier shutter does not work very well, but the keys uh, work. I will uh, maybe I can make a video for you with the noise. So one uh, fun thing, you have a mechanical caps lock on it. Yes, mechanical caps lock. And uh, some of the keys work together with uh, power switch. It is quite weird. So of course the ink is dried out since uh, some time. So we will not be able to print. But I can pour it up and have a wonderful noise of this thing. And power it here. So here we are. Listen to this noise guys. You see, here, for example, it is stuck. So it is not uh, fully fully working. But for such uh, all the device, I'm right? There is a band in it, but sometimes it doesn't work. But it does not work anymore. So here we are for this. I will uh, take it apart, uh, but uh, later because first. I want to close up the videos about the military uh, demultiplexer thing. So I will push on these uh, videos first because it is all uh, in parts for now and it is not very convenient for me. I want to put it back together as soon as possible. Okay, so thanks for watching and see you soon.